Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Deeper Network. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the bridge to get your DPR off your device and into your MetaMask wallet. So for this you need to have the Polkadot.js extension installed. The video to do that is in the description below. If you've used the bridge in the past or you used the Deeper Chain mainnet, you should have it already installed. So we're going to go to the bridge site. The link is also going to be in the description. This comes up because uh, you have to connect your wallet, so just put your password in and it should connect and it'll probably ask you if you want to authorize it to look into your deep DPR. So yeah. Alright, so here, here we are. This is how you get your DPR out. So you can see there it says BSC bridge to deeper chain. Well we don't want that because that's back to front. So we're gonna click that and it'll say deep chain to BSC bridge there we go so now that we've done that we'll go down and you can see the deeper chain wallet is the device that we're going to be connecting to so we have two devices here on our list and that's because in the polkadot.js extension we have we've put two in you'll need to add the raw seed and add them in if you want to do loads of different devices the limit is 5,000 each, so I mean, it depends on what you mine. And that is the BSC wallet which the DPR will be going to. So if we go on here, we can see that's our wallet. So D7, D676 it ends in, I think. Yep. And in order to change that, you just need to change the MetaMask account. So first thing opens, there you go. So Go on to connected and then you can pick which account you want so we'll click minor two and swap it again because it always goes back to the other way around and you can see there it's changed so that's how you decide where you want your your, your dpr to go to and then how much dpr do you want so i'm just going to do 100 dpr just for this test and then put your password in for the polkadot.js extension MetaMask will come up and it'll say, do you want to do it? And you'll go, yep. And then it'll tell you gas fee. Now, 43 cents to use the bridge, which is pretty good, really. Not when you're only transferring 100 DPR. It's not worth that. But for this example, we'll just do it. And then we shall go. All right, so confirm tran transaction. So it's done. So now we just wait. If we scroll down, you can see there that uh, we have a list of transactions. We also have a limit per day. It's a million DPR per day that can be transferred by absolutely everybody. So if you log on at 11 o'clock at night, chances are that the bridge might have been used completely and you'll have to wait until the morning to transfer stuff. And then you've got individual limits. So we're doing deeper chain to BSC. The minimum is 100 DPR that we can send and the maximum per day is 5,000. If you earn more than 5,000 per day, then obviously use two devices. And that is pretty much it. So now we just wait. It does take a little while. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see the transfer records. I've sped this up and I've cut it. And you can see there, so you've got the date, the direction, sender, recipient, 100 DPR, and the status which is pen pending at the minute eventually that will change to successful just like the rest of them which are in green and then there's another step so you can see here it's gone to, it's gone to green and there's now a blue box with withdraw on it you will not get your DPR unless you click withdraw we get people in the discord all the time saying I've sent 20,000 DPR from my devices or 5,000 DPR even you can see there I've got no deep DPR uh, and you haven't sent me it why not what's wrong is deeper going bust blah blah, blah. and it's like no it scroll all the way down and they see the button they click it and they go oh yeah yeah fine okay you know I mean people immediately kind of overreact and go where's my money you guys owe me money you haven't given me it you know and then once you click that You'll get another confirmed transaction, and then if you go back to your MetaMask, it should say 
100 DPR. And that's it. You've just withdrawn 100 DPR from the deeper chain to the BSC or the Binance Smart Chain. And you can now send that to your cold store storage wallet. If you've got a send, you can see that I've got my cold storage wallet right there where I've actually sent stuff to it in the past as a, as a test. And then you can keep them until DPR is worth 10 cents, 10 million dollars each, whatever, whatever happens. That's a joke by the way, DPR will never be 10 million dollars each. And that figure should have gone up by 100 DPR because we've just used it and we've withdrawn 100 DPR so that should be it. So I hope you enjoy the video, that is literally it. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekly update. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the support. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, like and comment.